Welcome to A level chemistry. Our topic for today is reaction kinetics. In our AS level, we studied about rates of reaction and more importantly, the factors that affect the rate of a reaction. And those factors were temperature, pressure, concentration and the use of a catalyst. In this topic, we are going to delve further into the realm of rates of reactions. So before we move further, let's do a quick recap. Uh, we know that rate is defined as the change occurring in a reaction per unit time. So it can be the change in concentration of a reactant per unit time. It can be the change in the concentration of a product per unit time. It can be the change in color per unit time. It can be the change in the volume of gas evolved per unit time. So uh, the, so it can be anything but the, more, the important thing is per unit time that's what defines rate the change occurring per unit time the change can be anything but it occurs per unit time and that's what rate is all about so we know that as temperature increases the rate of reaction increases and this is because the particles gain energy and hence they collide more frequently and more effectively <coughs> sorry we know that as concentration increases the rate of reaction increases and this is because there are more particles per unit volume as a result of which there are more frequent collisions and hence more effective collisions. We know that as pressure increases the rate of gas phase reactions increases and this is because an increase in pressure leads to the gas molecules coming closer together and when they are closer together they collide more frequently and hence more effectively. So the rate of reaction increases and as a catalyst is used, when a, cat, when a catalyst is used, uh, the rate of reaction increases and this is because the, a catalyst, it provides an alternate pathway for the reaction to take place and this alternate pathway has lower activation energy, which is the energy needed to initiate a reaction. So since the activation energy is lower, the particles with energy greater than the activation energy is greater. The number of particles which have more energy than the activation energy. So there are more frequent collisions and more effective collisions. So we know that an increase in concentration of the reactants will lead to an increase in rate. But let's just investigate the mathematical part of this. The exact relation between rate and the concentration of the reactants. So rate is equal to for this reaction that I've stated over here where I've taken random substances A, B, C and D rate is equal to a constant K which is known as the rate constant times the concentration of A to the power of M multiplied by the concentration of B to the power of N so uh, this is the rate. The rate of this reaction is given by a K which is, a, which is the rate constant multiplied the concentration of A to the power of M multiplied the con by the concentration of B to the power of N. Now you must be thinking that is M equal to small a and is N equal to small b? Well, the answer is not necessarily. M can be, uh, for example, if A is 2 and B is 1 M can be 1 and B can be 1. M can be 2 and B can be 1. And so this can, and, and, and anything like this can happen. A, uh, M can be 0 and even B can be 0. And M can be 0, 1. So it can be anything literally. So this is important to note because, uh, uh, because I don't, because people often get confused that uh, the, the, that the power to which the concentration is, ra uh, is raised, the concentration of the reactants is raised is equal to these stoichiometric coefficients. Well, that's not true. These can have any value and we have to calculate these values from experiment. So we use different concentrations of A and B and we measure the rate each time. Uh, and uh, after measuring the rate each time, we calculate the values of M and N. I will be showing you how these are calculated. But before we move further, it is important to note that M and N are not necessarily a and B respectively. They can be anything. So 
Uh, when we do reaction mechanisms further in this presentation, we will uh, be d d diving deeper into this concept.